if you're a business development professional and somebody calls you on the phone and they say, hey, I have a project that you, I'd like you to take a look at, what's your first thought? Probably it's yes. <laughs> and that's a good thing. But it can be a bad thing if you're too quick to say yes to people. And as a result of that, spend a lot of time and energy um, looking at projects that are not in your wheelhouse, that are with the wrong types of clients or in the wrong location. So in order to be able to filter people in and out of your sales funnel and spend your time working with the folks who have the highest possibility of doing work with you, you have to ask good questions. And one of the questions that you can ask at the very beginning of your sales process is this. Tell me about the last project you built. So let's say you're a general contractor and a developer is coming to you and they've done work in the past. They have a history with other contractors and let's assume they haven't worked with you before. Now, why are they calling you, right? When people are building construction projects, when they're purchasing anything, they're looking to do two things. They're looking to avoid pain or find pleasure. And in construction, because it's so risky, most of the time they're looking to avoid pain. And that's why you want to ask them, tell me about your past projects. Because by doing that, you're going to identify areas of pain that they've experienced. And by identifying those areas of pain, you'll begin to get a picture of how what you provide may help them to overcome that pain. But if you don't ask good questions up front, then you're not going to get the information that you need in order to position yourself effectively. So when you get that call on the phone, instead of getting all excited and you know um, immediately begin to spend a lot of time and money and energy putting together proposals or budgets for that particular person, make sure you're asking good questions, including tell me about your past project so that you can uncover pain or find what pleasure they're looking to get to and you can um, structure your offer and you can structure what you talk about around those areas of pain and pleasure. My name is Eric Anderton. Hope you found this helpful.